Hey Graham, so this is what I've basically done for the project. This is the prototype uh, for the Laser Photonics Research Group, the website. So this is kind of the home and activities page. This will have information about us, basically what we do. And um, so we'll be providing information and an introduction and whatever, like basically are like maybe a bit of a history or what we've been working on. And uh, these are like our current activities, what we are currently working on. And we can actually link them to the main NTU website or stuff like that. We can do that, but I haven't right now because this is basically, this is just basically showing it in the prototype. So these will be the data for that. And basically next thing you can do is you can go to the staff members, which will have all the information regarding the staff and uh, other people working in the department. Uh, this is connected to an SQL Server database, which you will be able to uh, add or remove other members and stuff like that, which I'll be showing you in a minute. So you can go to publications. This is basically a list of publications that is connecting to the main uh, NTU website, which will have like journals and uh, stuff like that. Um, this will take you to the main site, the links here and you can read there like to the main NTU site and you can read or download stuff from there directly itself. This will be basically listing it. We can connect it to a database. I mean, that's simple enough. It's not, I mean, uh, it won't be that complex, but right now I've just showed it uh, like how it's going to work. And it can be, I think it will be simpler if we can just list it out in the file itself. So that's why I've just put it like this anyways. Now comes the most important part. This is the search panel um, with, in which we can actually ref compare reflectance data for um, various elements and under specific intensities of light, frequencies of light, however you put it. Um, so here you can actually, the, mind you, this is connected to the database. So this will be uh, selecting, fetching elements from there. And what the other thing is that I'll be showing you just in a moment. Suppose I select magnesium. So now when I click on show chart, it will be showing me like the reflectance data on these three in intensities, like frequency one, frequency two, and frequency three, how they've gone up or dropped. So there we go. There you go. So basically, yeah, this is, these are the two elements, like, and we are kind of showing how differently we're comparing them, like how differently their reflectance is. So basically the workabout of this thing is that um, the query fetches the data and stores the uh, reflectance data into variables. And then that variable is, uh, that the variable data is then sent to the, uh, this, the jQuery uh, chart, uh, chartist, which basically then draws um, these com comparative lines into the chart, like showing uh, these dots, basically showing frequency one, frequency two, frequency three for the respective elements. And this is connected to the database, so you can add or remove data, which I'll be showing you now. Uh, now this is the most important part, the admin panel, which you can log in. Let me just put my password. You can even put remember me, but that's not important. And now press on login. Now there you go, that's your admin panel. Uh, basically you can do three things here. Uh, first thing is that you can add or remove staff members and information about them into that uh, existing database. Second one is you can add or remove the elements that the search panel uses to uh, show the reflectance data on the chart, like elements and their reflectance data you'll be able to add or remove. And thirdly, you can obviously change your password for more security and stuff. This is actually, the password is authenticated by the web security authentication in ASP.NET. So it's pretty decent, but uh, I mean, in the future we can actually work on something of, a, of an AES encryption, like something more, like, I, I don't know, we'll be checking that out anyway, so. Uh, there that is so we'll just take a look staff members you can actually uh, these are like staff members that I've just put so these are like the information this is basically the database so, and being reflected into a table and you can select any specific row and you can say delete and it will be deleted immediately you can click on add new you'll get to 
add information about the staff and then add the new person um, let's say I'll be adding And for remark, if I put and you click on save details, and the staff member has been added. So if we can go to staff members again and check, there you go, it has been added now. So that's how it works. Now you go to elements, you'll find the elements, these were the ones that were fetched into the table when we were drawing the chart. So you can click. As usual you can click on a specific element and press on delete to delete them or you can go to add new where you can name the elements let's say silver and under the first level of frequency of light uh, we'd want to say what reflectance it gives let's suppose it's 3.67 then on the second uh, when we increase the intensity, how much it gives, let's say 3.89 and on the third level of frequency, we can say it's 4.35 and we can save the element. Now if we go to elements, you'll be able to see that there's an extra element added and this will be accessible when you're drawing the chart again as well. So that's how the elements work and the password basically you know it like you can enter your current password and then your new password confirm it and change password it will just change it so that's how the whole thing works this is the prototype you can log you can go back to the admin panel if you want this will give you the information and uh, you can log out of it as well so if you just press log out now we are back to the website so now if you go to staff members you can see like the new one added and if you go to the search panel you'll see then that, that an extra element silver has been added as well so you'll be able to see um, the data for silver if you want to select that maybe compare it against cobalt and um, show it in the chart see there you go so yeah that's basically it um, I hope that is enough information you can use I've used Microsoft or web matrix ID to kind of code it and a little bit of it I've done in Visual Studio as well and, and until it stopped working and throwing bugs so I completely switched to uh, Microsoft web matrix uh, it's an open source ID and it comes with all the IIS servers and uh, the SQL server compact built in so there's no hassle so you can load that and basically run the project from there this is basically my project in Microsoft web matrix so you can like run, like load a project from a folder and then basically uh, like launch in browser so that's how it works okay Graham thanks I hope this has been helpful and any feedbacks you can give I'll be able to do that and I'll be working on the report as well and submitting it as soon as I can thanks you have a good day